Marjorie Lee Brown, born 1914, died 1979, African-American mathematician. In 1949, Marjorie, Marjorie Lee Brown, along with Evelyn Boyd Granville, was one of the first African-American women to receive a Ph.D. degree. By training a topologist specializing in a branch of mathematics that deals with certain geometric aspects of spaces and shapes, Brown made her greatest contributions in the areas of teaching and university administration. She also provided a leadership role in seeking funding for better educational opportunities. Her goals included the strengthening of mathematical preparation for science and mathematics teachers in secondary schools, and the increased presence of females and minorities in the mathematical sciences. Brown was born in Memphis, Tennessee, the second child of Lawrence Johnson Lee, a transportation mail clerk. Her stepmother, Lottie Taylor Lee, was a school teacher. As a young woman growing up in Memphis and New Orleans, she was an expert tennis player, tennis player, a singer, an avid reader, a trait she inherited from her father, and a gifted mathematics student. Brown graduated from Lemoyne High School in Memphis in 1931. In 1935, she received a BS degree, cum laude, in mathematics from Howard University. Then, earned an MS in mathematics in 1939 and a PhD in 1949 from the University of Michigan. She wrote her doctoral dissertation on one perimeter subgroups on one perimeter subgroup subgroups in certain topological and matrix groups and her dissertation served as the basis for one of her major publications on the classical groups in 1955. Brown began her teaching career in 1935 at Gilbert Academy in New Orleans, Louisiana, where she taught physics and mathematics for a year. From 1942 to 1945, she served as an instructor at Wiley College in Marshall, Texas. In 1949, Brown was appointed to the faculty in the Department of Mathematics at North Carolina Central University, where she rose to the rank of professor and became the first chair of the department from 1951 to 1970. She served as a principal investigator, coordinator of the mathematics section, and lecturer for the Summer Institute for Secondary School Science and Mathematics Teachers, a program funded by the first National Science Foundation grant awarded to NCCU in 1957. Brown continued this role until 1970. Brown was acutely, acutely aware of the obstacles which women and minorities face in pursuing scientific careers. Shortly after receiving her doctorate in 1949, she sought unsuccessfully to obtain an instructorship at several major research institutions. After receiving many polite letters of rejection, she decided to remain in the South and resolved that her greatest contributions will be directing programs designed to strengthen the mathematical preparation of secondary school mathematics teachers and to increase the presence of minorities and females in mathematical science careers. Thus, Brown spent her summers teaching secondary school teachers, and her objective was to ensure that the teachers whom she taught will be able to understand and teach their students the so-called, quote, modern math or, quote, new math, unquote. Uh, Brown's teaching standards were exacting, and her methods were thorough. Her demands for excellence and concise, clear ideas contributed greatly to the academic growth and development of her students, and many of her students have made significant contributions in a number of professions. None of them have earned doctorates in the mathematical sciences or related disciplines. Brown was also a steady, outspoken critic of racism and the, discrimination and the discriminatory practices prevalent among funding agencies relative to minorities and predominantly minority universities and colleges. She was an ardent advocate for the integration of the previously segregated meetings of the national mathematics organizations of which she was a member. For her work in mathematics education, Brown was awarded the first W.W. W. Rankin Memorial Award from the North Carolina Council of Teachers of Mathematics in 1974. During her acceptance speech, she described herself as, quote, a pre-Sputnik mathematician, unquote. She was referring to the purist nature 
of her advanced mathematical preparation and the practice of many American industries and businesses prior to the launching of the first Russian satellite in 1957 to allow scientists and mathematicians to pursue research projects that had no immediate real-world or job-related applications. The launching of Sputnik had a tremendous impact on mathematics education in the United States. America was viewed as having fallen behind the Russians in space explorations, and as a result, there was a shift in emphasis from pure abstract mathematical and scientific research to investigations that were of, that were of an applied nature. Brown, however, remained a mathematical purist, and like many great mathematical philosophers of the 19th century, she viewed mathematics as an intellectual quest, free from the limitations of the physical universe. Brown was a member of the Women's Research Society, American Mathematical Society, Mathematical Association of America, and the International Congress of Mathematicians, as well as the author of several articles in professional and scholarly journals. In 1960, she received a $60,000 grant from IBM to establish one of the first electronic digital computer centers at a predominantly minority university. And in 1969, she received the first of seven Shell Foundation scholarship grants awarded to mathematics students for outstanding academic achievements. The director of the first undergraduate research participation program at NCCU during 1964 and 1965, which was sponsored by the National Science Foundation. Brown was also one of the first African-American females to serve on the advisory panel to the National Science Foundation Undergraduate Scientific Equipment Program in 1966, 1967, and 1973. In addition, she served as a faculty consultant in mathematics for the Ford Foundation from 1968 to 1969 at their New York office. Brown was awarded numerous fellowships, including one from the Ford Foundation at Cambridge University in England from 1952 to 1953. Brown died of an apparent heart attack at her home in Dur Durham, North Carolina in 1979. At the time of her death, she was preparing a monograph on the development of the real number system from a postulational approach. Brown was, generous Brown was a generous humanitarian who believed that no good student should go without an education simply because he or she lacked the financial resources to pay for it. Thus, it was not uncommon for her to assume the financial responsibilities for many able students whose families were unable to provide tuition, books, board, or transportation for them. To continue the philanth to continue the philanthropic uh, legacy which she began, four of her former students established a Marjorie Lee Brown Trust Fund at North Carolina Central University in 1979. This fund supports two major activities in the mathematics and computer science department: the Marjorie Lee Brown Memorial Scholarship, which is awarded annually to the student who best exemplifies those traits which Brown sought to instill in young people and the annual Marjorie Lee Brown Distinguished Alumni Lecture Series. Citations and sources of this audio are in the description.